There's a lot of data included in this example auto pipe piping model. If I look at the input grid on the operating pressure and temperature tab, I have many different operating cases. One all the way over to 11. So 11 different operating cases, 11 temperatures and pressures that I want to analyze and review the data for. I also have static earthquake loads included, four of them. And I have static wind loads included, again, four of them. Additionally, I have supports in my piping model that include gaps and or friction. So this means that I'm going to want to run a nonlinear analysis in order to include those gaps or friction in my analysis. And with all the different load cases, my analysis sets can become quite complicated. So we have a tool that helps us to create some default sets uh, and guides us in creating them. If I come to the analysis ribbon tab and select static analysis sets, I want to use this create default sets button. This will open up the create analysis sets dialog. And there are some options in here to help guide me to create my analysis sets appropriately, especially when I have occasional loads included and when I'm running a nonlinear analysis because the initial states of my occasional loads for load sequencing becomes very important. If that terminology is confusing or new to you, I would suggest to go and check out the nonlinear analysis and autopipe training class available. So I'm going to set this up by setting up multiple analysis sets, which will create different analysis sets for my different operating cases. It will also include an initial analysis set that just includes gravity in my occasional cases and ignores all operating cases, all temperatures and pressures. I am including my occasional loads. I will include pressure stiffness and hot modulus consistent with the temperature and pressure that's being included in each analysis set. We're running a nonlinear analysis to include our gaps and friction on our pipe supports. And our initial state for occasional loads will be consistent, again, with the temperature and pressure being included for each analysis set. I always want to check out the load case mapping tab and make sure that I am including the earthquake and wind loads with any of the temperatures and pressure cases that I do want to include them for. There may be instances when you're not interested in including your occasional loads with a certain temperature and pressure case and you can uncheck these here. Uh, but for me, I do want to include them with all my temperature and pressure cases in this example. I can select to show a preview. This gives me a preview of the analysis sets that are going to be created uh, based on the settings that I have. And for me, this looks good. So I'll close this and I'll click Create Sets. It tells me it's going to delete anything that is existing for my analysis sets. And I'm okay with that. So I'll click Yes to continue. If I see in this dialog now, I have 12 different analysis sets. One for each of the different operating cases, T1 and P1, T2 and P2, and so forth. And the first one is not including any temperature or pressure case. It's just for gravity with my earthquake and wind occasional cases. So this is set up in an appropriate manner for load sequencing, uh, to, to check all of my occasional cases and all of the different states that the piping might be in, all the different operating cases, operating states that the piping might be in, including shutdown, just including gravity. And this will also help AutoPipe to automatically create my combinations uh, correctly based on the way that these analysis sets are set up. So if I just click OK and quickly run a static analysis, And there are many analysis sets, so this can take some time, but I will speed ahead uh, for time constraint purposes. Once the analysis is complete, you can review and modify as necessary the combinations that you'll use to check your results. So here I will review the code combinations, which you can see are automatically created for sustained expansion occasional and hoop for all of your different analysis sets, all 12. And in the non-code combinations tab, this is really important, your operating cases are combined correctly 
according to how your analysis sets were set up. So your occasional loads for analysis set one are only combined with gravity. Your occasional loads for analysis set two are combined with the operating case one, so T1. Occasional loads for analysis set three are combined with operating case two or T2 and so forth. And again, this is how you can check your occasional loads in each operating situation and also shutdown.